Welcome back to The Word Podcast. I'm Julian Spivey, the editor and writer for The Word Webzine, and I'm extremely excited to unveil the nominees for The Word's Milestone 10th Annual Brody Awards today. Before I get to the nominations, let me first explain to you, especially if you're not a longtime reader of The Word Webzine, exactly what the Brody Awards are. A decade ago, The Word created its own special awards for broadcast television shows. The Broadies are yearly awards for broadcast network TV series and only broadcast network TV series. For years, I watched the Emmys and Golden Globes and saw almost exclusively cable or premium cable shows, especially in the drama categories, winning all of the awards. Most years, you'll be lucky to see one drama series from broadcast networks, that is CBS, NBC, ABC, Fox, and The CW, nominated for anything. Why is that? Because there's the stigma that because cable and premium shows can show things like graphic violence and sex and harsher language, that that somehow makes them more real and thus award-worthy. This bothers me for two primary reasons. One, it seems these shows are throwing excess sex and violence that is unnecessary into the plots. And two, the majority of television viewers today, believe it or not, still watch more shows on the networks than they do through cable, premium cable, and now original streaming services, and thus are not getting to see these nominated shows anyway, and they want some love for those shows that they do follow. That is why the Broadies exist. Without further ado, let's get into the 2019 Broadway Awards nominations. The nominees for Best Comedy Episode are the 5th Anniversary The Tonight Show Special starring Jimmy Fallon. The head writer of The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is Amy Ozels. Our second nominee is Don't Let the Good Life Pass You By for The Good Place, written by Andrew Law. Our next nominee is also from The Good Place, the episode titled Janet's, written by Josh Siegel and Dylan Morgan. We have a couple of nominees this year from the ABC comedy Blackish, the episodes Black Like Us, written by Peter Saji, and the episode Don't You Be My Neighbor, written by Kenny Smith. We have three episode nominations from Brooklyn Nine-Nine this year, the episode Honeymoon, written by Neil Campbell. The episode Hitchcock and Scully, written by Lang Fisher, and the episode The Crime Scene, written by Justin Noble. And rounding out the category this year are is the episode Jack's Big Gay Wedding from Will and Grace, written by Alex Hirschlag and Suzanne Martin. And our final nominee for Best Comedy Episode is the episode titled Blizzard from NBC Superstore, written by Deo Adesokan. Switching to the Best Drama Episode category, we have three nominees this year from the NBC drama This Is Us. Our first one is the episode titled Nine Bucks, written by Dan Fogelman, Isaac Aptiker, and Elizabeth Berger. The next episode from This Is Us is Sometimes, written by Becca Brunstetter. And the third nominee from This Is Us is the episode titled The Waiting Room, also written by Becca Brunstetter. We have two episodes nominated this year from NBC's The Blacklist. Our first is the two-part episode titled Bastion Moreau, written by John Bakkenkamp, John Eisendrath, and Lucas Reeder. And the second is the episode titled Rosvet, written by Sean Hennen. We have two episodes from CBS's SEAL team nominated this year. The first is Say Again Your Last, written by Dana Greenblatt. And the second is the episode titled The Worst of Conditions, written by Holly Harold. Our three remaining nominees in the Best Drama Episode category come from uh, NBC's drama New Amsterdam, Fox's drama 9-11, sorry, and um, ABC's freshman drama A Million Little Things. The episode from A Million Little Things is titled The Day Before, written by Ashley Sims. The episode from New Amsterdam is titled Luna, written by Peter Horton, and the 911 episode is titled Fight or Flight, written by Kristen Rydell. Let's Let's get into the performing categories now. We'll start with the Best Guest Actress in a Comedy Series, and the nominees in alphabetical order by first name are Chelsea Peretti as Gina Linetti in Brooklyn Nine-Nine. 
Caitlin Deaver as Eve Baxter in Last Man Standing, Laura Benanti as Melania Trump in The Late Show with Stephen Colbert, Maya Rudolph as The Judge in The Good Place, Samira Wiley as Nikki in Will and Grace, and rounding out the category is Tina Fey as herself in The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. Turning over to the Best Guest Actor in a Comedy category, the nominees are Adam Sandler as himself and various characters on Saturday Night Live, David Schwimmer as Noah Broder on Will and Grace, J.R. Ferguson as Ben in The Connors, Michael McKeon as Doug Forsett in The Good Place, Robert Klein as Martin Adler in Will and Grace, and rounding out the category is Steve Carell as himself and various characters on Saturday Night Live. Turning to the guest actor and actress categories in a drama series, the nominees for best actress in a drama series, best guest actress in a drama series are Becky Ann Baker as Judge Roberta Wilkins in The Blacklist, Cicely Tyson as Ophelia Harkness in How to Get Away with Murder. Jenna Dewan as Julianne Booth in The Resident. Jennifer Farron as Anna McMahon in The Blacklist. Lottie Verbeek as Katerina Rostova in The Blacklist. And Felicia Rashad as Carol Clark in This Is Us. The nominees for Best Guest Actor in a Drama are Brian Dennehy as Dom in The Blacklist. Cameron Monaghan as Jeremiah Valeska in Gotham, Charles Robinson as Ray Jennings in NCIS, Griffin Dunn as Nick Pearson in This Is Us, Ron Cephas Jones as William Hill in This Is Us, and rounding out the category is Ron Livingston as John Dixon in A Million Little Things. On to the Best Supporting Comedy category, starting with Best Supporting Actress in a Comedy Series. The nominees are Darcy Carden as Janet in The Good Place, Heidi Gardner as Various Characters in Saturday Night Live, Kate McKinnon as Various Characters on Saturday Night Live, Lori Metcalf as Jackie Harris on The Connors, Lisey Gorenson as Becky Connor in The Connors. And rounding out the category is Megan Mullally as Karen Walker in Will and Grace. On to the nominees for Best Supporting Actor in a Comedy Series, and they are Andre Brower as Captain Raymond Holt in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Brad Garrett as Douglas Fogarty in Single Parents, Kenan Thompson as various characters on Saturday Night Live. Manny Jacinto as Jason Mendoza in The Good Place. Sean Hayes as Jack McFarland in Will and Grace. And rounding out the category is William Jackson Harper as Chidi Anagonye in The Good Place. On to Best Actress in a Comedy Series. The nominees are... Deborah Messing as Grace Adler and Will and Grace. Kristen Bell as Eleanor Shellstrop in The Good Place. Leighton Meester as Angie Diamato in Single Parents. Mary McCormick as Peggy Cleary in The Kids Are All Right. Sarah Gilbert as Darlene Connor in The Connors. And wrapping up the category is Tracy Ellis Ross as Rainbow Johnson in Blackish. Our nominees for Best Actor in a Comedy Series are Andy Samberg as Detective Jake Peralta in Brooklyn Nine Nine, Anthony Anderson as Andre Johnson in Blackish, Eric McCormick as Will Truman in Will and Grace, John Goodman as Dan Connor in The Connors. Michael Kudlitz as Mike Cleary in The Kids Are All Right. And the final nominee in the category is Ted Danson as Michael in The Good Place. On to the supporting actor and actress categories in a drama series. 
nominated for Best Supporting Actress in the Drama Series is Aisha Hines as Henrietta Hen Wilson in 911, Allison Miller as Maggie Bloom in A Million Little Things, Chrissy Metz as Kate Pearson in This Is Us, Freema Adjiaman as Dr. Helen Sharp in New Amsterdam, Jennifer Love Hewitt as Maddie Buckley in 911, and Susan Kalechi Watson as Beth Pearson in This Is Us. The nominees for Best Supporting Actor in a Drama Series are Bruce Greenwood as Dr. Randolph Bell in The Resident, James Roday as Gary Mendez in A Million Little Things, Justin Hartley as Kevin Pearson in This Is Us, Neil Brown Jr. as Ray Perry in Seal Team, Richard Schiff as Dr. Aaron Glassman in The Good Doctor, and rounding out the category is Sterling K. Brown as Randall Pearson in This Is Us. The nominees for Best Actress in a Drama Series are Angela Bassett as Athena Grant in 911. Emily Van Camp as Nurse Nick Nevin in The Resident. Mandy Moore as Rebecca Pearson in This Is Us. Megan Boone as Elizabeth Keene in The Blacklist. Sanaya Sidney as Amy Belafonte in The Passage. And rounding out the category is Viola Davis as Annalise Keating in How to Get Away with Murder. Our final performer category is Best Actor in a Drama Series, and the nominees are David Boreanis as Jason Hayes in Seal Team, Freddie Highmore as Dr. Sean Murphy in The Good Doctor, James Spader as Raymond Red Reddington in The Blacklist, Milo Ventimiglia as Jack Pearson in This Is Us, Peter Krause as Bobby Nash in 911, and finally, Ryan Eggold as Dr. Max Goodwin in New Amsterdam. Now we turn to our best television series, and we'll start with the best new comedy series of the year. The nominees are Happy Together on CBS, Single Parents on ABC, The Kids Are All Right on ABC, and The Neighborhood on CBS. The nominees for Best New Drama Series are A Million Little Things on ABC, New Amsterdam on NBC, The Passage on Fox, and The Rookie on ABC. Our nominees this year for Best Variety or Talk Series are as follows. The Late Show with Stephen Colbert on CBS. Late Night with Seth Meyers on NBC, Saturday Night Live on NBC, and The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon on NBC. The nominees this season for Best Comedy Series are, in alphabetical order, Blackish on ABC, The Connors on ABC, The Good Place on on NBC, The Kids Are All Right on ABC, Single Parents on ABC, and rounding out the category is Will and Grace on NBC. The six nominees for Best Drama Series are A Million Little Things on ABC, The Blacklist on NBC, The Good Doctor on ABC, The Resident on Fox, SEAL Team on CBS, and finally, This Is Us on NBC. One thing that I love about the Broadway Awards is we don't just celebrate the best of network television of today. But every year we honor the great shows and TV figures of the past with our Hall of Fame awards, one for a performer or figure integral to TV history, and one for a great classic show. 
Among the winners in the performer or TV figure category in the past have included actors like Alan Alda and Lucille Ball, Saturday Night Live producer Lorne Michaels, and legendary newsman Edward R. Murrow. Some fine shows honored in the past have included The Twilight Zone, David Letterman's Late Night and Late Show Variety Series, and Seinfeld. This year's honorees will be unveiled with the rest of the Broadway winners on Sunday, June 23rd. Thank you for tuning into the Word Podcast uh, tonight, and we hope you are excited about all of our Broadway nominees, and we would like to hear which nominees that you believe should win their respective categories, and also let us know if there are any network TV shows or performances that you feel we snubbed this year. You can let us know your answers at our social media sites, Facebook and Twitter at The Word Webzine. And please check out our entertainment website at thewordwebzine.weebly.com for complete entertainment coverage. Thank you for listening.